Hey guys, it's Abby with Motor City Nerds. Hi to all new subscribers, welcome. If you could like the video, that would really, really help me out. It really helps me out because I'm so small. It's a big deal for me. But yeah, I reacted to the first trailer for this and I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I think Napoleon is the thing I'm most excited to see this year. I love Ridley Scott and right after Halloween, we were going right into reviewing a ton of Ridley Scott movies until this comes out. So I'm, I'm really geeked for this, I really am. I don't know if anybody will watch this because it's not the first one to come out, but I'm I'm truly, truly geeked for this, and I want to check it out, so we're going to. Let's just get right into it. I'm an idiot. I'm a moron. It looks so good. Like, visually, out of every... It just... General, we are discovered. I thought we'd just good. get repeat stuff, honestly. Wait. Nice. Dude, I love this so much. Strategy? Ooh. Napoleon was wild. I think I need people to understand that. He was I'm not built like other men. Ooh, let's go, Akeem. Those in power only see me as I I feel like modern office. music and old stuff got played out for a minute, but I like this so far. But I follow in the footsteps of Alexander Stop. the Great. And Caesar. Evil minds and blood destruction. If you look down, you'll see a surprise. They must have so much Evil because they're showing us a lot. Let's go, my dude. Let's go. I must warn you. I will not lead a second in command. I will win by fire. I am destined for greatness. I found the crown of France in the gutter. He took that shit. Like he placed it atop my own head. God damn, Ridley. You want to be great. You are nothing without me. Say it. I believe I speak for all of us. We will all sleep again without this villain. Whose country are we in? Ooh, my boy. Let's go. Mine. Oh my God. This looks, this looks so good. I'm so geeked for this. You guys, I am so geeked for this. And I talked about this in my first reaction, but Ridley Scott really, really excels when there's, there can be an, uh, like more people, but he really excels when it's one to three main people running around in his spectacles. Like he really excels when it's this intimate story, even if it's on a sprawling scale like Gladiator or Alien or this, like it looks so good. And I've always, the second they announced Joaquin Joker playing, or Joaquin playing the Joker, I immediately, I remember I was at work on the assembly line and I was like, no, this is genius. And I remember when in 2007, they announced Heath Ledger was going to play the Joker. I knew it was going to be a different take on the Joker, but I was like, no, you guys are underestimating my boy right now because it's not the big things that Joaquin does. It's the little things he does in his acting that really add to a performance. And I always bring up Commodus with the Senate, spinning the sword around, not paying attention, and they're all talking like, but it's the little things he does, sticking his tongue out, just little things that he adds to these characters in all of his filmography that really bring it home. Now this looks great, and somebody, I wish I could like bring the comment up, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm really bad at this. Uh, it was my favorite comment I've gotten in like six months, and it was on the first reaction I did, and he said, in my head, this is Ridley going back to the character of Commodus and Gladiator. And the, and this guy, like this Napoleon is just him reborn and getting to do more. And I'm like, oh, I really like that. I really like that coming at it that way. That's really cool. But I'm so excited for this. I truly am. I think it's going to be great. And here's the awesome part. Now, I really speak highly about practical effects and how much they really, sets and practical effects, they really immerse you and bring you into a story whether it's napoleon or it's an alien movie it really matters and it looks like they really hit a good spot of 
practical and CGI. And if the, and if it's all CGI, then I'm the goose. But it looks like they found a real sweet spot with this. Those horses flipping and stuff, that did not look computer generated. And Ridley Scott likes that spectacle. He likes over the top. I am so excited for this. I'm geeked for this. And other things, I was like, do you want to know what? Don't really have to see it in IMAX. I don't really care about seeing the Barbie movie in IMAX, even though you guys know I hyped up Barbie all the way to it coming out. I was like, people are underestimating this movie. But there's certain things like Oppenheimer. But this, I mean, Oppenheimer, everybody should have wanted to see that in IMAX. Christopher Nolan, king of IMAX, was doing it. Even more so than that, I want to see this in the IMAX. I really, really do. And like I always say, don't get gypped because a lot of places will tell you they have an IMAX and it's just the screen stretched more and it's not actually an IMAX screen. So know that before you go and ask your theater if it really matters to you. But it'll look warped sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But it, 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 yeah, it'll look like off. If you go to one there, they're like, it's an IMAX. And really it's not. In Michigan, we're, we're lucky enough to have two. We have one in Ann Arbor and one in Dearborn. And let me tell you, I'm going to be seeing this in the IMAX. I'm so excited for this. And I'm and I'm not smack-talking Ridley Scott in any way, shape, or form. But, like, I, I thought Prometheus was beautiful but dull. And honestly, I think that suffered from having such a great cast. And like I said, he's better with these intimate groups. And I think this is going to be... I think this is going to be absolutely outstanding, and I think it's going to be great. And Joaquin normally doesn't sign on to things. Well, he's buds with him, but still, he doesn't sign on to things where it's like, if it ain't worth my time, I'm not doing it type deal. So I'm really geeked for this, and I'm Abby with Motor City Nerds. I'm on OF, I'm on TikTok, I'm on all the things down below, and yeah. Napoleon, I'm really geeked for Napoleon. Plus, Napoleon is such an interesting historical figure. He really is. Like, he was wild, and they, there's always rumors around his death, and I'm like, in my head, I like to think, no, the same thing that almost killed me killed him because I had to get four feet of my intestine removed. And they say that stomach issues are what killed him, but either way, I'm so geeked for this. 